What you and I are looking at right here is a 21-day subculture in reference to Borrelia burgdorferi, the bacterium normally associated with causing Lyme disease. Some people may pronounce it burgdorferi or burgdorferi, but we're going to go by the Mayo Clinic pronunciation for now, burgdorferi. This is in comparison to the antibiotic which you see right there. In the corner that you see there is Cryptoleptis sanguinolenta, otherwise known as Ghanaian quinine, American pronunciation, quinine, British pronunciation. We're going to go by the American pronunciation for that. Ghanaian quinine, often utilized in the treatment of malaria, that Ghanaian quinine. Look at that. Virtually nothing in reference to the bacterium associated with Lyme disease itself. Keep in mind, this is in vitro, this is not in living organisms, so eventually future studies will have to carry it out in people to validate the result, re these results in particular. But let us proceed as follows. Ethnobacterial medicine is effective against the bacterium causing Lyme disease. A preclinical study in test tubes showed that selected plant-based herbal medicines, especially Ghanaian quinine and Japanese knotweed, work better than antibiotics, that is a quote, to proceed. The researchers showed that plant extracts from black walnut, they went through a myriad of different uh, uh, herbal extracts to test, but those two which you showed previous were actually in the top of their class. But all these deserve some honest, honorable me mention. Uh, extract of black walnut, cat's claw, sweet wormwood, Mediterranean rock rose, and, Jap and Chinese skull cap had strong activity against Borrelia burgdorferi, outperforming both tested antibiotics. But by far the strongest performers were Ghanaian quinine, Cryptoleptis sanguinolenta, and also Japanese knotwood. Ghanaian quinine is a shrub from West Africa containing the antimicrobial alkaloid cryptoleptin and is used in ethnomedicine to treat malaria, hepatitis, septicemia, and tuberculosis. Japanese knotweed is a traditional medicine in India and China that contains the polyphenol or resveratrol. Keep in mind Edelman and there's other parts to Japanese knotweed that may not be associated specifically in resveratrol itself. Uh, in other three clinical studies, it has been found to have anti-tumor and anti-inflammatory effects and protect the nervous system and heart. Extract from both plants were found to kill microcolonies of Borrelia burgdorferi and inhibit the division of planktonic form even at low concentrations of 0.03 to 0.5 percent. Remarkably, a single seven-day treatment with 1% Ghanaian quinine, quoting, could completely eradicate the bacterium. It did not regrow even under optimal conditions in the drug's absence. Quote, the study provides the first convincing evidence that some of the herbs used by patients such as cryptoleptis, black walnut, sweet wormwood, cat's claw and Japanese knotweed have potent activity against Lyme disease bacteria, especially the dormant persister forms, which are not killed by the current Lyme antibiotics, quote, end quote. These findings are exciting as they offer opportunities for improved treatment of persistent Lyme disease, which is not helped by the current standard treatment. Quoting again, we are interested in further evaluating these potent potent herbal medicines through animal studies as well as clinical trials. All right, I'm going to proceed now to, again, the full published study, which of course the initial slide which we saw in the beginning was pulled from. Wonderful, wonderful study altogether. I do encourage you to go to the study and research it on your own. The links will be there on the YouTube channel for you to follow, but to proceed as follows. It is also important to recognize that while being cognizant of specific side effects and interactions, Botanical and natural medicines generally have a favorable safety profile compared to prescription antibiotics and have a broader spectrum of action with multiple synergistic compounds present within a single plant. Furthermore, using multiple botanical medicines in combination can further increase synergy and efficacy and lower the risk of pathogen resistance development. End quote basically from the um, uh, discussion part from the full study itself. Again, I encourage you to go to that full study and research a little bit more on your own. It goes to the herbs and the sources itself that the researchers utilized in basically uh, determining its effectiveness against Borrelia uh, burgdorferi. But still, just the same, Ghanaian quinine, or quinine, 
uh, depending on um, British or American uh, pronunciation, was just incredible. I want to bring that slide back up one more time, just, just because it is just amazing. Look at that. That is just an incredible, an incredible breakthrough. There's no other words uh, that could explain it outside the word incredible or amazing. Let's say put it that way. That gives incredible hope to the 10 to 20% of the people where antibiotics don't seem to have a solid effect against the bacterium causing Lyme disease itself. Again, wonderful, wonderful research. Gives a tremendous amount of hope to many individuals. Future studies have to be carried out in living organisms and, of course, people to validate these results to make sure this isn't something different doesn't happen in biochemistry per se. But still, just the same. Wow. Just wow. So look in the future potentially for future studies in regard to Ghana and quinine. I don't know if any individuals had tried it on their own from an observational standpoint in its effect towards Lyme disease itself. But if you see a study or whatever it is, please link it. I would love to see it or at least help the people who watch this channel itself. Again, we're off to our channel signing off once again. Look forward to see you all in seven days. Thank you. Thank you much for listening. Gratitude. Again, the link is there, and I always encourage you to follow it to the full study to look at it and review on your own. You may see something that I didn't see. Again, still just amazing itself. Nani and Quina, Crypto Leptis, Sanguinolenta. Rob signing off. Catch you all next time. Bye.